Hey guys, Chris from Contempo here with a quick walkthrough installation video for my WP Pro Real Estate 7 theme. We're on a fresh installation of WordPress. We're going to go ahead and dismiss this notice. All right, so we're in the dashboard and we're going to come down to appearance. We're going to go to themes and then we're running 2017 right now, but we're going to go to add new, upload theme. We're going to go to choose file. We're going to find the uh, zip that I downloaded. And make sure that when you grab this zip, so the, the actual package that you get from ThemeForce is gonna contain a lot of files. You're gonna wanna download that, unzip the main package, and then find this file and go ahead and upload that. If you up, try to upload the entire zip, you're gonna get an error or missing style sheet, that kind of thing. So we got that chosen. We're gonna go to install now. All right, so it's unpacked, installed, and it's good to go. So now we're just going to activate it. And once we activate it, we'll go to the theme setup wizard. And this will guide you through installing and activating the plugins, creating a child theme, installing the content, uh, the demo content, if you'd like. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click start here. And this is going to go ahead and create a uh, child theme and activate it for us automatically. All right, so that's all done. Now we're on to the next step, which would be the plugins. And you'll see there's quite a few plugins that are included with the theme. The only ones that are required for the theme to operate are my Contempo Real Estate Custom Posts and Redo Framework itself. So we're going to go ahead and close that, click Install, and then let it go ahead and do its thing. It might take just a little bit because it's going to be installing each one of those plugins and activating them. So uh, once that's done, we'll come back to it, and I'll just uh, pause this real quick and see you in a sec. Okay, and we're back, and now it's just activating each one of the plugins. There we go. Got the check mark. On to the next step. Uh, this is going to import the demo content. So if you want to import a demo, you can. If you don't, you don't need to. You can just skip this step altogether. Uh, right here, it's going to. We're going to select each one of the demos that um, are available. Uh, the one that I'm going to go with is the main one, which is Multi Demo One. Uh, but you're free to select any one of these. Now keep in mind, uh, depending on your server setup, this um, import process can take a little bit of time because uh, if you're importing the content, widgets, sliders, um, all that kind of good stuff, it's going to come with some pretty large images. Um, you are free to also uh, go ahead and uncheck or check whatever you'd like to import. So if you don't want the content, you can do that and you can just import the sliders, widgets, uh, menus and redo the admin options, um, that's what that's for. Or um, you can choose to import the entire thing or just skip it all together if you'd like um, and start from a completely fresh, clean slate. So we're gonna go ahead and import everything here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click import and let that do its thing. So, and again, this might take a little bit. Um, so right now it's starting on the content and it's downloading all the images. So just let it run do its thing, grab a cup of coffee, you know, that kind of thing, and come back, and um, it should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this here, and I'll come back to you once it's completed. Okay, and we're back, and the import of the demo content, and we're all done. Now we can go ahead and view the website right here or you can click on extras and you can explore WordPress and that'll take you to wordpress.org uh, get theme support and that's going to take you to my documentation page uh, which I can show you right here and anything in the documentation um, you can just check out here there's a bunch of videos all that um, on how to work everything from A to Z um, you can also talk to me directly uh, via live chat if you'd like uh, so we're going to go back to the theme set up here, and then also this is um, where I actually recommend you um, go. So instead of viewing your website, and we can do that, um, we can go ahead and just check it out right there. Or you can click on this, and you can go to Start Customizing, and that will take you directly into the Admin Options panel. And from here is where you can you know, add your custom logo, um, set up all the you know information, and the you know just everything that you need to do is all within this area and that's real estate seven options uh, also make sure that in the top you're going to see a few notices 
um, WP, uh, WP favorite posts, and then can tempo compare listings, and then also the WordPress social login. Now, if you don't want to run these plugins, you don't need to, you can deactivate them. Um, but if you have them activated, you're going to want to set these up. And these are all covered as far as the setup are uh, covered in the documentation as I showed you uh, previously right here. So uh, that's it for the um, entire theme setup. So you can see everything set up here. And that's the entire home page. Um, and that's about it. Thank you guys for your purchase. And again, if you ever need any uh, uh, help with anything, I'm always available on the uh, live chat or in the item comments. Thanks so much.